Welcome to our testing video. First off, we have a steel hammer baton. Please don't try this at home. Um, this will void the warranty, but I just want to show you how far you can actually take our, our knives here. So it takes out pretty big chunks of, of wood on this, and this is the edge I'm going to concentrate on when I do the wax paper test after the next video. So here we're doing the tip test. When you go with the grain like this, you really are in shaky territory and can easily crack the tip off. When you go against the grain, it's much easier. So here I'm going to go against the grain, and this can do this all day long. This isn't a very big deal, but it still shows how strong the tip is. Now back to with the grain, and this is when you can actually crack that tip off pretty easily. Um, a lot of knives. Ours is holding up pretty well. This is due to two reasons. One, we use a chisel grind, which is inherently strong on the tip. We also do all of our heat treating in-house with hotshot ovens. So this gives us very consistent results all the time, and we also test at every batch. So going back for that tip test... And you know, see, all is well. Nice and straight, tip is still there. Now I'm going to get some wax paper. And not really from the tip test, but from the batoning test we just did. We're going to see how that edge held up. Nice and sharp, I let the blade do the work. And it cuts very nicely. And that's our Ranger model. That's 3 16 thick, 1095. And I'm going to do some whittling here. I'm not making a Santa Claus or snowman for you. I'm trying to take out really big chunks of wood here. Digging in and then doing a, a lateral turn with the knife there to try to crack, warp, break the edge. So as you can see, I'll put it in and try to turn it. Also some light chopping. This knife has enough weight to it where you can do a little bit of chopping with it. But you'll see I, I bring that to the side after I dig in, trying to Crack that off there. I'm going to go to town with some scraping and just remove all this wood here. After this, I'm going to grab some more wax paper and see what the edge looks like. I'm looking for the edge to get caught up on the wax paper. If it gets caught up, then that means that it's not a smooth edge and something happened, whether it be a chip roll or something. As you can see, everything goes through nice and even and smooth. That's, that's what I'm looking for, smooth. That's still razor sharp. Very happy with that. 